All right, y'all. So we're about to go into the Repticon, the Reptile Show here at the Greensboro Coliseum. And we're going to get y'all some footage of some um, spiders, snakes, um, tortoises, lizards, and different things like that. So um, stay tuned. Watch the show. See some of these awesome uh, creatures, reptiles, I guess. And enjoy. So I'm out here with Key, my friend Key, and we're at the, oh, there we go, at this reptile exhibit. $950 for this one. A Spider-Man take you, never seen them before. $250 for a snake. <coughs> oh. Yeah, $250. They say he's going to be dollars They say he's going to be green for when he's fully grown. A it's Viac, a green tree. Viac GTP. I just think it's really weird, like how the, all their designs are so ornate. Mm -hmm. I've never seen these like designs like this before. Look at these big ones. Look at he done frosted up. He must be in there pooping. Did you say he's in there? <laughs> Who thinks of stuff like that? <laughs> Who thinks of a frog pooting? It's a snake. Or a snake. Same thing, but not. <laughs> wow. That big boy. $475. But this John he right looking here at me like, is 850 mm -hmm. Let me see. 850 Yeah, he is a pastel banana. G H I. Don't know what that means, but mm. don't it look like somebody took and dropped ink on him? The little oh, black yeah. spots. Mm -hmm. He has a brown black head natural, with white, white body. That damn snake is a thousand dollars. It should be. Look at it. Would you ever own one? No. Definitely not for no thousand. Oh my god. What happened? I didn't see them. I didn't see them. Claire. They just don't look happy inside them. What you know? We all know it's not here. You do to eat my raw You do that way. It's bigger than the other ones. Is something wrong with him? No. What's his name? What kind is this? Crested gecko. Oh, it's, these are geckos. Yeah. Look how geckos. big his head is. I cannot believe how much these things cost. Oh my God! I'm about to say he looked like a tomato. His his name is a tomato frog. <laughs> I might have to do both. Like, like, like so <laughs> let me do you first. Oh, sorry. Um, you want to say where you, your name and your uh, 
Yeah, there we go. She's got to like picture it. I'm gonna take one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you get attached to some of these um, little fellas and then decide that you don't want to yeah, sell them? Yeah, absolutely. There's some of them that I've had on the table and you know they're just super friendly or just really adorable that I have just put them back. Like, you know what? I, you need to stay home. Is this your personal baby? Yeah, we just don't really have a use for her. Aww. Aww. Also voluntold to bring her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I see you. <laughs> it's a tortoise. Sorry, the tortoise. Is that your friend? Oh, wow. What's his name? Turtle. <laughs> and that's what I, I his called him Turtle. His name is Earl. How long have you had him? You've had him a long time. Oh, you gonna move him? Oh, he's hissing. He's hard to move. How much does he weigh? About 130 pounds. Oh, oh wow. God. He weighs almost as much as I do. How long have you had him? We've had him about five years. And he's I'm about taking it. He wasn't oh, wow. that big, I'm sure, when you got him. Uh, he was almost that big when I got him. We have you, several of them. Of this size? We have several like this? this I have two more of that size, and then I have a dozen that are 50 to 60 pounds. And wow. people say vegetarians can't live long and prosper. See there? That's right. She said it's, um, um, it's $2,000. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I have her sister. Her sister for five. Wow. Oh. What makes them so expensive? The genetics. And females are usually more expensive than the males. And also from like a breeding of perspective. We are. <laughs> and from a breeding perspective, uh, you kind of look at what they can produce uh, like later down the road. Okay. Uh, with the right male to her, you can make a potential of an eight to ten thousand dollars Are you serious? Y'all yeah. making bags out the snake? Sometimes. Sometimes shows are really, really slow and you don't sell anything. Mm-hmm. Wow. What's his claw? He ain't got no claw. No, he don't have no claw. Okay, I will touch him. Will you bring him close to me? Because his mouth is closed. Touch him back here. Oh, wow. He feels weird. He's weird. And he's... Oh, oh wow. wow. Uh-oh. What's his name? Does he have a name? No? You, li you like these guys, huh? Uh oh. You do? You work at the zoo? You want to work with animals yeah, when you get big too? Yes. Yeah, Dave, what time was that? I think you're going to do a great job. Yes. Thank you. A bearded dragon? Mm -hmm. Can I video? Y'all ain't never even touched a snake before? No. She's scared. Mm -hmm. I want to touch it. What did a snake ever do to you? <laughs> they are very. Did a snake ever? Did a snake ever? Can I video you? you? No. Do you call? Huh? Can I video you? Can you video me? You yeah. can. You'll break your camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna touch a snake. Or oh, excuse me, I'm gonna here hold this because she, she ain't gonna touch no, the we're snake. Gonna touch the snake too. I'm gonna touch the snake. Where are you going? Get one that's kind of sleepy. Kind of what? We'll do you a little better. <laughs> she said, kind of what? <laughs> Sleepy. Here, Brian. Here, Brian. Take this around there and let them see. Oh! Oh, Lord. Look at that. 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 Look at that.
just to, it's not gonna hurt. This one is gonna hurt. Oh, it feels, it feels like feels like leather almost. Mhm. Mm not slimy though, is it? No. no. It doesn't feel like I thought it was gonna feel. It's cold. It. She isn't. She not right even phased. Oh wow. So they can't live like in cold areas. Right? That that animal right there comes from Africa. So if it were to escape here, it wouldn't mm -hmm. make it through the winter. Oh. Like that. oh wow. And what kind is this? That's a ball python. That is the most traded snake in the pet industry. Oh my gosh. Do you oh oh she's letting it go. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Oh. Ah. Did you first snake? Did she just let and it go? And they didn't even hurt you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you got it. You're doing good. Yeah. Oh sweet Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to take this back over there? Okay. Oh, please, please, please take it. Okay. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm jumping too. Oh, oh, ah, ah, ah. Um, they can live over 20 years, but average about 10 to 15. 10 to 15. Yeah. There's some that are over 20 that were caught in New Caledonia that are still actively breeding. So, I mean, they could potentially live up to. 20 I like your nails. Oh my god, you feel oh. so weird. You still call this person? She said he's the call this person. Lindsay, come in. What's his name? Toothless. Huh? Toothless. Oh, toothless. The dragon. Yeah. You have to touch it now, Lindsay. Don't be a punk if we're touching him. I love your nails, yeah. Thank you. I like his nails. <laughs> Let me come around this side so I can get the front of it. Okay. How long has he had it? Sorry. And he's a pit pet? This lady. Look at him walk. Oh my god. What? I don't know. A little more color. Okay. Look at his little eyeballs. Like, I'm not videoing anything. Well, I can't see them. <laughs> you can't see them because they're, <laughs> they're camouflage. Are, are these all like camouflage ones? Um, not really. They don't change they, colors? Well, they, they get lighter or darker according to their mood, but, um, you know, something like that really isn't going to blend into too much or like that. Mm -hmm. Did his tail break off? Yeah. Oh. So they don't regenerate their tails. Um, but like a lot of these do have their tails, but that's just what they <laughs> Oh, ask your question again. Hold on, ask your question again. Just ask your question. When I was a child, I was scared. Uh -huh. And then, at, I don't know, I was probably 25. Okay. I went and bought this thing. So I'm get over this. I'm going I've ever been scared of it. So, I went and bought one. So and then, a year later, I'm not scared of anything anymore. I'm, I'm terrified of spiders. Yeah. I got spiders. Well, I've had spiders. I've had spiders. I've had spiders. Scorpions. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Took care of. Mm -hmm. you probably don't go over areas as big as in that room. Okay. As long as he's got food. Okay. So they stay in the area where yeah, they usually don't travel a lot if there's food there. Okay. You know, and, you know, they've got water and all, so you're not really doing anything to them that we can be doing in the wild. In okay. The wild, they've got the stuff to take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. They don't go anywhere. Now, what about their babies? Like when we have the raven eggs, mm -hmm. do they stay with them or do they? Pythons do. Okay. Pythons stay with the eggs until they hatch and they protect them. So people now, they incubate the eggs. So they have to take the eggs away from the snake that's actually trying to protect the snake. So, well, as soon as you get away from them, as soon as you get the, the eggs away from them, they calm right down. But the process of getting them away. That's the hard part. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Rigo, you 
Mm -hmm. They're easy to read out. They stink. Now, are these the ones that are for sale? These are not the ones that are for dinner. No, they're actually. They eat in Doritos. They fight you. Look at them. Them Doritos are good. Oh, they've been in here for more than one day. They was in here yesterday. Poor babies. I don't know and why they put some of them in these bags and some of them they didn't. They must not like the light. I don't know. Well, how they going? Oh, they going to have to go behind there. Bring the, they take the bags off. Look at he looks look like this mother. <laughs> look at these two. Wow. Oh, I got a glare. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Hold on, you want to get you one? I'm not getting you one, bro. You know, too. You want an eight oldest? Yeah, we're an eight oldest. Everything on the table, I bread. You did? What's your name? I'm a breeder, like. Right? So they have babies and the little eggs and stuff? Oh, wow. How many eggs do they like? On average, between four to eight. Uh-huh. Four average to eight Average clutch eight. is about six. But, yeah, on average, sometimes you get a big clutch where it's like uh, ten eggs. Mm -hmm. how, how big are the eggs? Are they like regular size um, eggs? They feel like leather. Uh-huh. It's not like an egg like a crack. It's like literally like leather. Oh, wow. It's bigger than a chicken egg. Maybe two really? This little snake can play four eggs. Hey, look, this, these are babies. Those are the oh. adults. Hey, look at that. I don't know. <laughs> mm -mm. How long have you... Hold on, let me come back. How long have you been um, breeding? I've been breeding professionally since 2005. Oh, nice. Um, okay. <laughs> I had a pet back get in this like one. 90 weeks. Mm -hmm. Good. 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 Oh, yeah, I went to pick it up and I screamed and dropped it. Oh, buddy. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, the turtle. Yeah, remember when Zari had that turtle? Mm -hmm. It was huge. How often do you do these shows? I'm at a show almost every weekend. Oh, for really? Over three, quarter, over three quarters of the year. Oh, wow. wow. It's big business, man. I didn't realize that. It, it's getting Ooh. a little diluted because there's so many show, so many more shows popping up, but mm -hmm. we're trying. Ooh. Ooh. Like, we had... Can I put you on my video? Yesterday. Hey, you had what? We had uh, twice the amount of stuff here yesterday, but we had half our stuff go to another show. Oh, Three and a half hours away. Wow. And how do you, do you actually go collect these things? Just the air? No, most of this comes to us. We either um, buy wholesale, depending on the animals. Like we buy these wholesale leopard geckos on the other side of the table mm -hmm. from breeders. Um, most of the stuff does come in while we for a period of time, make sure it's kind of healthy on the way back up. We keep treating it to go on, but. It's okay and decent shape. We'll put it out for sale. We don't make a lot of money off everything, but it's enough that it keeps adding up after a while. How mm -hmm. long do they live on average? Depends on what. Depends on what yeah, like is. chameleons, you're looking at like a five, six year lifespan. Um, basilisk iguanas, you're looking at 15 to 20. Tortoises, you're in 50, 60. Mm. Thank you. That is bizarre. But then I felt bad. I said she looks like she just wants to be free, so then I just I let her be free. I, I have 
I just throw off veggies in my yard because I get box turtles all the time. Mm -hmm. Just give them a little bit of a head start. Yeah. But they don't hang around. I'm like, hey. And they move fast. They're they really move fast. surprisingly you know, fast. Yeah, realize how fast. You look away for like five minutes. Oh, you're going to still be there. No, that's how my niece lost hers. She had a, a pet turtle in Philadelphia. And she put it out on the skin so she, You know, she loved it. So it's name was Henry. Well, in Philadelphia, which is where we're from. Oh, really? might, somebody else might have sped its process up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tortoises. The shells look weird. It's shaped like a peanut. It is kind of. My bad. Mm. A blue eyed Lucy. Blue eyed Lucy. This one, like, look, what y'all doing? Mexican black king. Look oh, how small nosy. he is. Look, 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 nosy. Oh, wow, Mexican black king. They're so small. No. no. We just touched our first snake over there. Yeah. <laughs> she loves to be handled. Oh, for real? How do you know? I handle them all the time. <laughs> I handle most of these snakes all the time. Wow, does she have a name? She does not. It's my name, I might have to keep it. Oh. We'll name you. Yeah. <laughs> What should we call her? Sheila. Let's call her Cookie. Oh, I'll say she's Sheila. I mean, she's she... actually what they call in blue, where she's getting ready to shed. And her Can I video you? Video me? Yeah, <laughs> since you were explaining. She has, a, she has a blog. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Not last week, I was on one too. Okay, she what? She's in blue. Let me show you. She doesn't have a name, but we called her Cookie. Ooh. Yeah, so what happens is they blue and their eyes start getting real hangs over. See how their haze over like that? Not oh. clear. Oh wow! That means she's getting ready to shed. Okay. So most snakes in shed are aggressive, not aggressive, but standoffish because they're afraid. Mm -hmm. Super sweet. Oh wow! A little bit of can of sanitizer. Oh yeah. Shake it off the ground here. Make it like this hole. Right, will you answer her? If you have a call, she'll get a respiratory infection. Really? Yep. And if, it, it, yep. and if I don't catch it, it's like, I don't know how oh. to stay on top of all that looks in the car. Mm-hmm. You're good. Be very careful with the nails. Hands out like this. Just open them up. Here you go. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'll take it. These don't bite. They, they, like, they strangle they, you? They, no, nope, they bite. But what they'll do is they bite for food or defensively to get you away from them. When they bite the food, then they take it and they can strangle their food. Yeah. Keep it from breathing and then they. Look at this one. She's oh. pretty much full oh. That is a beautiful, beautiful snake. What now? What kind is this? A python. A python, too? See how warm he is. Oh, it's warm. Yeah, but he's been under the light. Look, no, she just got him on the back. Oh, God. It looks like a male. Look at the bottom of them. It's, it's, it's so smooth yeah, and it's shiny. Just shed. Oh, okay. Anytime they shed, they're real bright. How often do they shed? They said that they can shed two or three times a year. And so when they shed, it means that they're growing? Yes. Okay. See? Oh wow! Okay, this you done. My National Geographic. And you done passed your fear yeah, of snakes and two <laughs> snakes. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Thank you. Well, learning well, about a snake. Mm -hmm. I was so scared I'd never touch oh, one. And then we did rattlesnakes and stuff. Where are you from? Franklin. Franklin. And so now you're very really comfortable. Well, you look yeah. very, very comfortable with all of them. I know he's not going to hurt me, and I know as long as I respect him, he's not going to hurt me, and, and he doesn't want to hurt me. Well, they have to protect you. Yeah. Or any other animal. He's I think so they just slick. get a bad rap. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you hurt him, he's going to bite you back. What's the, the tongue thing about? He's, uh, he's fake. Looking around, I mean, he's seeing what's out here. And they do that with their tongue, so they can, what, well, I guess, they feel? They sense in you, yeah. Oh, you sense in around me. Maybe you don't know. No, he's, he's very active. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's so strong. 
I want you to It's amazing how they just wind their bodies around. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I think he's gorgeous. He is gorgeous. Thank you. Hey. So, we got some of the creatures <laughs> he actually touched snake she held snake i didn't get to hold the snake because i i had to carry mine and put the hands down i don't know but we touched snakes we touched tortoise and oh we do need some hand sanitizer let me get that we looked at some tarantulas and my face yeah. track is gone but we're gonna come back in maybe and check out some more stuff. So that was our day. Say to Arch TV, let's go!